Jammu and Kashmir itself. Wherein the MC President Farooq Abdullah has talked to controversy over the Article 370, and he has mocked the journalists by saying that you don't know anything. You must not have been born at that time. We have been working for the Article 370 from day one. When asked that BJP says that Article 370 is dead now, he has said that he has seen many people who are dead rise from death and Allah is on our side and that he will help us on 370. He said and I quote, 370 part is important and I have seen dead people coming back to life. Let's have a look at what the MC chief has to say. Why are you worried about normalcy? Uh, Amanath Yatra is taking place. People are coming. They're going happily back. People in Pahalgam who haven't earned for many years during the time of COVID, at least they're earning something. National Conference of Harvard Atkat and Judy Atkarmas. God Naked Doha Petra. Tell us the Manta Kim Yamok Yamunkasi Mugbet Bietti. Yam Askunan Chanchi. Unconstitutionally Hatovuki, Avoche Supreme Court is my. Kay Mareo and Sanbi Vapasaga. My doctor whom and a decahe. Dinkebasko, who Shavas Nita, Pulsby Niti, Allah Neon Kofis is in Daki. Allah Hamare Tarafe, Inshallah Hame Madat Kareg. Well, you heard what the former Jammu and Kashmir chief minister had to say and the NC chief had to say on the Article 370. Quite a bizarre statement that has definitely come in from Farooq Abdullah. We have Tejinder Singh joining us on the broadcast right now. Tejinder, this statement that has been made about Article 370. Firstly, he has said, do not question about the normalcy in the area. And secondly, he has made a statement comparing that the dead have come back to life. Uh, oftentimes, he has seen such cases. And that is the comparison or rather the analogy that he has brought when it uh, when uh, asked about Article 370. How are we looking at this particular statement? Of his. Uh, see, uh, it, it, it clearly shows that uh, these Kashmir based political parties, be it the National Conference or the P PDP, they have been playing with the emotions of the people of Jammu and Kashmir and still they continue to do so. Uh, while the Supreme Court is hearing uh, the case on Article 370, you heard Farugla first mocking the journalist because uh, a, a female journalist asked Farugla what his party did uh, to strengthen Article 370 when he was in power uh, he mocked the journalist by saying that she does not know anything and she must not have been born when his party was working to strengthen 370 so another journalist when asked Fargula that uh, uh, the BJP and other other parties are saying that uh, article 370 is dead now Fargula says that uh, uh, he is a doctor by profession and during his profession he has seen uh, several dead people rise uh, from the death. So uh, he says that Allah is on his side and he believes that Article 370, which some political parties consider as dead, would rise again, would come back. So this is just uh, playing with the emotions of the people of Kashmir. While these polit politicians in Kashmir, they also know that Article 370 is gone now. Its restoration will never happen. Uh, because uh, the, 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 the revocation was passed by the majority in both the houses of the parliament, by absolute majority in the both houses of the parliament, and uh, it is a gone chapter now. Uh, we know that the Union Home Minister had promised that uh, the statehood of Jammu and Kashmir would be restored at an appropriate time, but Kashmir-based politicians, they continue to play with the emotions of the people of Jammu and Kashmir by stoking the issue of Article 370, yes. Right, right, Rajinder. Definitely quite a quite a crucial statement that has come in from the NC chief. And right now we are going to shift off.